Happy Valentine's Day, YouTubers. I just wanted to do a quick uh, how-to video on making your own Combine John Deere mailbox. Oh, excuse me, Valentine's Day box. Mailbox, jeepers. Because um, the kids are doing the Pinterest ideas, and you saw some ideas, and you know what? I thought I could do a step better. Um, I used some donated parts from a Combine that was already half a part, but can easily put back together if you flip it upside down. This is as simple as a uh, few screws. Hold that hopper down there and the rest of the body so I can get to the cab. <clears throat> uh, take the cab off. I uh, used the cab. I was going to use, I thought about using the auger and um, using uh, the back spreader piece though too. But I made an auger out of a couple old markers that we're going to throw away. Uh, painted the green after uh, gluing them together there. Then gluing it on the box, uh, the cab. And instead of making your own head out of cardboard, which is fine, but this is a lot easier so they can get them to school. Couple cutting a couple slots so it fits in there, and then easily easily removable for transport. Um, the cab you could either draw a smiley face or use a real cab, right? A couple holes. Decline a unknown phone call there, uh, and then the zip tie. Uh, the tires came off another donated vehicle. I couldn't get the tires off of this one. And instead of doing a construction paper, took them off of that vehicle and that or some extra duels. And those are secured inside by rubber band and zip tie so that they won't get removed. Uh, the th things I really wanted to point out though were the decals that were made. If you do a Google search, uh, make sure to add clip clip art to the end so that you can get this with a white background and then uh, this was actually uh, I believe again off an of eBay listing of some sorts but it had a nice white background and it was nice and clear and I was able to stretch it to about eight inches long so at least it covered the box and then same thing here you adjust the size use the publisher in order to accomplish that and then the numbering was uh, uh, word art Obviously a yellow fill with a thicker black outline because when cutting it out I wanted to make sure to see the black. I also did a uh, fill of the background green so that when I cut it out it wasn't obvious that it was white. So it's not perfectly green but it was close enough where it seems pretty cool. Hold on a second. Again the back, back we finished off with a donated piece. A red and orange marker for some of the, to try to get some similarity here. Uh, same thing with the clip art of the slow moving vehicle shine. Um, left a big opening so that Valentine's could fit in the top. Little saying, fill my hopper Valentine with some more of the clip art. Same thing on the other side. So ended up doing, I want to do what, four of those. Obviously then two of those. Could have did the kid, I suppose, in word art. Wasn't really thinking. Didn't even think about this until I put it on there, like, ah, oh, yeah, we should do that kind of ideas, because same thing with another video I'll do quick with that one. Um, you know what, and that's about it. A, a couple minute video for <laughs> a few hour project. Um, I, I already had John Deere green to paint the box. Actually, this was a box I ended up turning inside out because it had a nice flat white finish on the inside as a support piece and that took the paint way nicer than the cardboard did so you could do a um, green construction paper obviously if you didn't have John Deere green of some sorts to get the same effect but having a paint and you could use paint on regular cardboard but you gotta really put it on thick and uh, to really feel like spending that much so that's the top side was fine but the the, the side with that uh, smooth white really made that look pretty awesome so get the full effect here slap it on there and should be happy stay tuned for the basketball hoop version <laughs> 